If we call on somebody who isn't here, right? They're living, right? You have groups that promote this. You can call on the sheikh, right? You have a problem, you need his help, just call on him. He's a living sheikh. The fact that you call on him, he's not present, he's not available to help you, that's worship. If he's dead, it's also worship. So whether you call on Abdul Qadir Al Jilani, who is popular in the Indian subcontinent and elsewhere, we're given the title Ghawsi Azam, right? Al Ghawth Al A'zam, meaning the greatest source of help. Right? Whether you do that, and he's dead, or you call on Sheikh uh, Nazim. You know, because you are from the Naqshabandi order and Sheikh Nazim is the man. So you call on him when you are in need. He's a living, he's a living person, but he's not here. This is worship. And when you call on Rasulullah again, you have a line of argument that people try to raise. But he's living. He's living. Prophet ﷺ said that when the prophets die, the earth doesn't eat their body. Okay. Because the earth doesn't eat their body, does it mean they're living? Or this is just a miracle from Allah? Point number one. Point number two, if Rasulullah ﷺ was not dead, then the Sahaba committed a grave crime by burying a man alive. Isn't it? If he wasn't dead, then what did they do in burying him? This, this is nonsense. This is error. Clear error. The point is that Rasulullah is dead. All the rewards of the actions depends on the near. So my dear brothers, we should always be sincere in doing all acts of worship. And when we talk about the gatherings, where we all gather to remember Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to recite Qasida, praising Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in which we used to say, Ya Allah, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we used to say in this Qasida in Subhana Mawlud that Inna Baita Nanta Saakinuhu Laisa Muhtaju Mila Suruji Ya Rasulullah The house where you stay, there is no need of lamp Ya Rasulullah You are full of Nur Ya Rasulullah This Masjid is in which we always remember Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And we should be always, we should always keep this in mind that whatever we do in a gathering, the same thing we should do in private as well. This is not that we show the love of Rasulullah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in front of public. And if we go to another place, we show a different face of us. And we are, when we are alone, we show a different face of us. No! If we alone, in private recite salawat on Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if our aqeedah is in accordance with the aqeedah of Sahaba Karam, that yeah, Sahaba Karam used to say, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my dear brothers, remember one thing, following the sunnah of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is not only Islam, 
following the way of Sahaba is not only Islam, but believing the belief of Sahaba is Islam. Now we should know what was the belief of Sahaba Quran before Allah Ali Majmain. Have you not heard the hadith? Hazrat Ali Radiallahu Ta'ala who has narrated this is in Ibn Kasir as well. But unfortunately, those who have translated in English, Ibn Kasir, those who have translated in English, they have omitted this hadith after the Visal Sharif of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the Arabi came to the holy grave of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this is the order of Allah Ta'ala that if we commit sins, we should come to your court, Ya Rasulullah. Walau antahum mir balamu al fusahum jauk. We should come to your court, O Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And by being in your presence, Ya Rasulullah, Allah Ta'ala ordered us to seek forgiveness. And Ya Rasulullah, Allah Ta'ala also said, you should seek forgiveness from Allah. And Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should intercede for you. Then you will find Allah Ta'ala as most forgiving and most merciful. So for us to find Allah Ta'ala as most forgiving and most merciful, Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam should intercede for us. He should do shafaat for us. That means Allah Ta'ala stated, in Allah the full rahim. Allah is the one to forgive. But here Allah Ta'ala will forgive. Uh, forgiveness of Allah depends on the shafaat of Nabi Karim sallallahu Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala nun was not a Wahhabi, he was a Sahabi and such a Sahabi about whom Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated that I am the city of Ilm and Ali is its gates. Ali is the gate of that city of knowledge. Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala nun who is master in knowledge, he says that that Arabi came to the holy grave of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Ya Rasulullah, he sought forgiveness from Allah he sought shafaat from Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if this was shirk, why did Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala who narrated this incident if this was haram, if this was bidah why did Hazrat Ali radiallahu ta'ala who narrated this narration of Hazrat Ali shows that this is not shirk, not bidah, not haram but to see assistance from Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam this is exactly in light of Quran and Hadith even Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhu he used to say Ya Rasulullah even other Sahaba used to say Ya Rasulullah if one of us, may Allah protect all of us if one person at the place he claims that soon to say Ya Rasulullah it is shirk to say Ya Rasulullah it is worshipping Allah ma'adhallahi rabbil alamin my dear brothers and if that person says I want to attend the Madrid of Maulud that is in order to show his munafikal that he says one thing at a place and at another place to show the public I am with you. Allahu Akbar. This is a clear munafikal. This is hypocrisy. My dear brothers, if anyone whose lectures are widely available in internet, if he says, if his book says, if his lecture says that saying Ya Rasulullah this is shirk, then he is going against Sahaba. And after saying this, if he says I am also reciting Maulud, I will also join your Maulud Majid. Do not accept him because this is his munafikal. He is not having ikhlas, but he is trying to show the public that I am a person of reciting Maulud. I am a person of love of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But in other place, he says this is shirk, this is bidal. If he says shirk, ma'ad Allah. Now I am asking you, if we say Ya Rasulullah, what does it mean? O oh, Rasul of Allah, we have made a difference saying, O oh, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you are not Allah, but you are Rasul of Allah. Ya Rasulullah, O oh, Rasul of Allah. So by saying Rasul of Allah, we have difference, made difference here that Allah is different and Rasul is different. Then how can this become shirk? How can this become worship? Ma'ad Allah Rabbil Alameen. My dear brothers, to call Ya Rasulullah, this is not shirk. This is in, in accordance with Quran. This is in accordance with Hadith. And be away from those people who tries to show they are munafika that I am also reciting Maulud. I will talk about Maulud. You invite me. I will talk about blessing the Sul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in private, in other majlis, in other his own gatherings, he says reciting Maulud is bid'ah, saying Ya Rasulullah is shirk. This is not Islam. If, even if they have got research, even if they have got PhD, whatever qualification they have got, we should not believe unless he follow the belief of Sahaba Karam Ridwan Allah Alayhi wa And if he is a true follower of Sahaba Karam in belief, he may be a jahil, but he is our own brother. He may be a jahil, but as he is lover of Rasulullah, he is Ashik or Rasul, we will respect him, we will kiss his hand, we will kiss his feet. And if he comes to Munafikal by saying one thing at a place and another thing at a place, he may be a scholar. 
though I am a jahil, I will say that particular person is even below than me and he is even worse than my Najis because he is against the true belief of Sahaba ground. He is against the true love of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember the true love of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let him be a jahil. He is our own brother and a scholar. If he is against the love of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he tries to show his munafiqat, then remember, he is not a scholar, the one who cannot find the status of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Quran, the one who cannot find the status of the Surah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Hadith. How can you call him as an alim? How can you call him as a researcher? How can you call him as a speaker or as a scholar? The one who is not aware of the lofty status of Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who is not able to understand from Quran, who is Rasulullah, who is Sahaba, who is Awliya, the one who is unable to understand how can you call him as a scholar? But the real fact is, he is worse than Najis. And this is not what I say. Allah Ta'ala has stated in Quran, an'am, balhum adal. They are like animals and worse than animals. So Alhamdulillah, this is our belief. Those Sunnah al Jamaat scholars and those Jahil who, are, who got no knowledge, but they are Ashraf al Rasul, they are the best people and those who are in the name of scholars and they don't have the true love of Rasul Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in light of Quran they are worse than animals may Allah protect all of us